Hi, I'm Marien and I'm a student at the Game and Media Technology Master here at Utrecht University. In this video you will learn more about the program and not unimportantly the campus. We're here in the Minard building. This is located at Utrecht Science Park. Here you can find all kinds of facilities and in this building you can find the Faculty of Science and our Master's program. As a student you will spend part of your time following lectures, like in the lecture hall behind me. But you will also spend time researching in our labs, like the Motion Capture Lab. Let's hear what our teacher has to say about this. Game and Media Technology um, is a two years research master's program. Um, it is uh, the only one uh, with a research focus in, in the Netherlands. Because the gaming industry and media industry is uh, becoming large and with societal impacts, we want to educate our students uh, for the game and uh, simulation industry. We have a focus both on the uh, technological aspects and fundamental research uh, aspects. In that sense, they can work in industry as game uh, programmer or um, uh, designer, but also they can uh, work uh, in research and development, uh, in academy or in uh, R&D departments of uh, companies, and they can help uh, shape the future of game and media technology. Students uh, capture movement here uh, and uh, map them to 3D virtual characters or they can use it for motion synthesis using machine learning and AI algorithms. So that was interesting. Our program has even more labs and research facilities. We also have a lot of places where you can study or hang out with classmates. Let's hear what one of them has to say about the program. I chose this program because since my, my childhood I always wanted to build games. And Utrecht University offers a program that allows me to like get everything I want from professors that are in, like, in the state-of-the-art technology so I can learn everything. My favorite course would be uh, Crowd Simulation, where you learn all the techniques that have been used in Crowd Simulation from the start. So from like bad simulations <laughs> to like state-of-the-art current simulations where you have a lot of algorithms being used to render it. My advice for future students is to really love C++ because it's going to help you on a lot of courses during the masters and it opens the door for like several of them. Also expect like really love the technology behind games because you're not going to build per se a game during the masters, you're going to learn the fundamentals to make them. At the campus there are also many places where you can grab a lunch or a coffee, like here at the spa. Or you can go outside, here you can visit one of the restaurants or food trucks. Behind me you can see the university library at the science park. Here you can find a quiet place to study. Let's go back to one of our study areas and hear what a fellow student has to say about the program. I chose the Game and Media Technology program because I wanted to get a better understanding of the fundamentals of game technology and to get a more hands-on experience with uh, the cutting edge technologies in the game industry today. The Game and Media Technology Master Program for me is uh, computer science but foc with a heavy focus on game and interactive uh, uh, technologies. Technologies that can be used in games but also uh, think about interactive applications and for example museums, think about serious applications uh, where we could actually in a fun way, a fun and engaging way train um, the employees of the healthcare sector uh, to do all sorts of difficult uh, operations but without actually doing it uh, physically. I chose to study here at Utrecht University because of the great atmosphere. So thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you at the Masters Open Day.